Just like a blind man, I wandered alone. Worries and fears I claimed for my own. Then, like the blind man, that God gave back his sight. Praise the Lord, I saw. Hi, folks. I'm James Marvell. Through the years, I've done a lot in Branson, Missouri, and we'll be sharing my days as jewelry designer, also my appearances on the Jim Owen Show, and more. Here's Branson legend, the late Jim Owen, singing a classic he wrote for Conway and Loretta. Louisiana woman, Mississippi man, we get together every time we can. The Mississippi River can't keep us apart. Too much love in this Mississippi heart. Too much love in this Louisiana heart. Louisiana woman, Mississippi man, we get together, together every time, time we can. The Mississippi River can't keep us apart. Too much love in this Mississippi heart. Too much love in this Louisiana heart. And there's too much love in this Mississippi heart. Too much love in this Louisiana heart. Hey! Lisa Lane. Kathy Eckert. Trouble. And James Marvell. That's the first half. Get out of here. They ain't right. Hola, Jaime. Hey, James Marvell. It's your friends Jim Barber and Chico coming to you from Branton, Missouri. And congratulations on your new TV show. <laughs> Uh, show. Si, senor, that's what I said. TV show. <laughs> We're so happy for you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Adios, Jaime. <laughs> Local news. Local entertainment. Find it each week in the always free Branson Globe, in print or online at BransonGlobe.com. The Branson Globe, your source for local news and entertainment. We're the cast of Branson Country USA. Be sure to watch the Branson Terry Awards on the ALG Gospel Network. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where I got them. This happened about 10 years ago. I was down at McDonald's, and this is on the Internet every night now as a joke, but it's not a joke. They just took my story and put it on the Internet. I went through the drive through at McDonald's, and they had a new girl working in there, and I said, give me a half a dozen chicken McNuggets. She said, you can't get a half a dozen. You can get six, nine, or 12, <laughs> but you can't get a half a dozen. I said, bless your heart. Just give me six. I probably couldn't eat a half dozen anyway. James Marvell has had hits in three fields of music, folks. He's had a number two pop record. Think about that. Only the Beatles were in front of him. He was at number two. He's had, a, he's had number one records in the country independent charts, and he's had number one records in the country gospel charts. One of them, a song I just wrote for him. Make welcome a man that's had a lot of hits. Here's James Marvell. Are we having a great time? I can't hear you. Are we having a great time? Yeah. Woo. They're having a wonderful time. Welcome to the Jim Owen Show. In a moment, I'll carry you to the 60s when I was recording on Warner Brothers and doing interviews with Dick Clark and all that. But uh, let's go to the 70s. That was my long-haired country duel, the Country Cavaliers. We used our image to draw the young people and give them an anti-drug message. There we are on the Wilburn Brothers Show. There's Dole Wilburn. I'm the guy on the left. The Cavaliers, like I said, we used that to tell the kids not to do any drugs. Here's Jack Green showing up there and Jeannie Seeley. Now I'll carry you into the 60s. It was in that era that the Beatles, Sinatra, Elvis Presley, and Andy Williams, and the group Mercy, I was with the group Mercy, we were in the top 10 with this song. And with the help of Sunshine Express, I'll do it for you. Good morning to you. Remember this? Wake up in the morning with the sunshine in your eyes and the smell 
of flowers blooming fills the air. To have to hold important, but forever is the phrase that means the love you found is going to stay. Y'all remember? Love can make you happy if you find someone who cares to give a lifetime to you and who has a love to share. I also want to thank the Taney County Times. They've done an article today. You'll see Jim Owen, myself, and Buck Trent in the paper there with an article and uh, pick up a copy. Here's one of my number one songs from the 90s. It goes like this. Help me out, okay? When I was young, I'd ride those country roads Rock and rollin' with the radio I was wild and free, that's all I'd ever be Now there's only country music for me When you're young, rock and roll's for you When you're sad, only want the blues When you get a little older, rock and roll will move right over only country music, only country music, only country music will do. Am I right, folks? Hey! Looking back, I see rock was part of growing up. One day, I finally had enough. I slowly turned the dial, I listened for a while Now only classic country suits my style When you're young, rock and roll's for you When you're sad, you only want the blues When you get a little older, rock and roll will move right over Only country music Now I know why Daddy liked to listen to George Jones Mama turned the TV on that old Mac Davis show We grew up with Johnny Cash, Kitty Wells and friends Dolly Parton held my dad's attention even then When you're young, rock and roll's for you When you're sad you only want the blues When you get a little older Rock and roll will move right over and Only country music Only country music Only country music will do You better clap, I'll do it again. What a wonderful crowd. I'm excited. The Taney County Times today called the song I'm about to do, Branson's first number one hit. Artists usually break out of Nashville, but this did the reverse. It came out of Branson, and I'm really excited because Jim Owen wrote it. I'd love to get him out here to help me sing it. Is that okay? Last night I dreamed that Satan came for me. My life was over, it was my time He said there's no time to pray for redemption Eternity's here, now you are mine And I cried and I cried, cried, and I cried. But nobody heard me 
I begged to my Savior and called his sweet name. Called his sweet name. But I was in prison in the kingdom of darkness. I prayed and I prayed. Prayed and I prayed. But no answer came. Folks, we all know that Jim Owen writes wonderful songs, but I think this is a real good song, don't you? Thank you. I could see hell, the fire, the brimstone. I could see souls screaming in pain. I felt the touch of all that is evil. And regretted my life that had been lived in vain. And I cried and I cried. Nobody heard me. I begged to my Savior, called his sweet name. But I was in prison in the kingdom of darkness. I prayed and I prayed, prayed and I prayed, no answer came. Then I awoke with a shout of redemption. Hello, I'm Terry Bean. You're watching the Jane Marvell Branson TV special. See you at the Branson Terry Music Awards, September 26th at the famous Ball and Roberts Theater. And remember, the AOG Gospel Network, they'll be there also. Is who I seek and the Lord is Blessings to all who watch the ALG Gospel Network. I'm recording artist James Marvell, also associate producer here at ALG. Branson Radio has me as one of Branson's top 10 artists. I'm also excited to announce I've recorded a great song written by ALG founder Roy Young. It's titled In a Dream. The super talented Tommy Sellers joins me. Please request In a Dream by James Marvell and Tommy Sellers at BransonRadio.com. Thank you. Mansion up on high He said this is yours Now that you are Hi, I'm Terry Wayne Sanders I'm C.J. Newsom From Branson, Missouri Be sure to watch the Branson Terry Music Awards Yeah, right, right here, here on, on the, the ALG, ALG Gospel, Gospel Network. Network Tune in, it's going to be great Oh, I can't wait I'm going to watch you right now <laughs> And now, here is a Branson treasure, my friend Randy Plummer, with his original song. A place in southwest Missouri, a place where you don't get in a hurry, but it's a spot where you feel you're drawn, and your Ozark Mountain country gone to Branson, Branson. It's got a lot of class and then some folks come here from far and near to Branson, Branson, there's Silver Dollar City and Shepherd of the Hills and Table Rock Dam to see as well. With the ball knobbers and the Presleys, they built our Ozark heritage. With the Plummer family and the Foggy River Boys, these were the first four original shows. And Mutton Hollow was there to see. These started the tourist industry. A Branson, Branson, it's got a lot of class and then some. Folks come here from far and near to Branson, Branson. Ozark Mountain Christmas is something to see with millions of lights on hundreds of trees. There's decorations all over the place done with true Ozark Mountain country taste. There's ride through exhibits and walkthroughs too. Put this on your list of things to do. See the spirit of Christmas as you drive your car down 76 Country Boulevard at Branson, Branson. It's got a lot of class and then some. Folks come here from far and near to Branson. Branson, if you've never been to Branson Town, I want to invite you to come on down. And to you who have already been, please come on back and see us again at Branson. Branson, it's got a lot of class and then some. Folks come here from far and near to Branson. Branson to Branson. Branson, it's got a lot of class and then some. Folks come here from far and near to Branson. Branson to Branson. Branson to Branson. Branson.
Hello, I'm Randy Plummer, and my folks and I had the third family theater here in Branson called the Plummer Family Country Music Show. And today, I want to talk about a buddy of mine. His name is James Marvell, and he was very instrumental in the early days, all around 1992, helping to get the gospel music industry going here. He uh, worked with the Willie Nelson Theater and very instrumental in starting the gospel music industry uh, here in Branson. He helped with the Johnny Minnick family, getting them going here to promote gospel music, and not only promoting, but singing and uh, just putting these events together. So James, I just want to congratulate you on all your accomplishments you've done here in Branson. God bless you. Oh. When I'm in awesome wonder. How you doing? Good. You know, Rick, I remember when I was at this place here, it was called the Willie Nelson Ozark Theater. And uh, I run into Rick out here, Rick Guy. I'm James Marvell. And we, uh, you know, I started to help promote the uh, Johnny Minnick family. They would come in on Sundays for the worship services. Now we're taking you to a time in the beginning of theater worship here in Branson, Missouri. I love this place. I love Branson. I love the people. And um, anyways, the Johnny Minnick family, a gospel group, would come in on the weekends to do their uh, program. They would draw maybe 20 people. That's such a small crowd for a big theater with 1,500 seating capacity. Uh, before you knew it, I think it, was, it had to be the Lord. He impressed me to help him. And the rest is history. It grew into being the biggest and the first uh, worship service ever of that size here in Branson, Missouri. And Rick Guy was the very first minister uh, to preach there. I was hoping he would preach and he did. And I can tell you, he can tell you a little more about what happened. Yeah, you know, James, it was just it was just a miracle. You know, we we got things started, and uh, you know, I think I read a magazine article uh, the other day, going back in the archives, where that uh, we was averaging about 1,500 people each service, the here at the theater, and you know, through the kindness of Willie Nelson by giving us the theater and let us use that, you know, just look where it has grown. Oh yeah, now it's all, it's everywhere, right? Right. I mean, you had, you had, he had a worship service at that time. It, it, it branched off from the uh, Willie Nelson Ozark Theater back in 1992. And it became the Hillbilly, uh, what was it? Hillbilly, Hillbilly Gospel Hour. Right, right. We, we branched off over at the Honeycomb Theater and uh, Jimmy Rogers, if you remember Honeycomb, mm -hmm. he was kind enough to let us use his facility. And, uh, you know, we was drawing the, the capacity crowds there you know we'd have buses come in and it was just a great time it was a great time for Branson Missouri and James thanks to you that we were able to make this thing happen I'll tell you I think it's God it's definitely God led me I was under such a an anointing at that time and sometimes you don't you can receive an anointing of God and not really be uh, per se in the Christian end of it you just know that God is leading you to help someone I believe I heard you speak a message about helping uh, helping your brother and your sisters. This is what I wanted to do with that uh, family that would come in, the Johnny Minnick family. I was led to help them. They would come to me and ask, James, would you help us? They knew that Willie had given me the run of the theater. And uh, before you knew it, the whole town was involved. They would give us uh, articles in the newspaper. I know that you had Ricky Renfro over at your theater and by the guy who was here Right. filming this I believe Ricky was over there with you at the hillbilly uh, gospel hour but I don't know I'm so excited still that this happened here in Branson Missouri and how theater worship started later we were blessed to have Barbara Fairchild after after it became so big she caught caught the the um, she caught the excitement and started promoting it from her theater there in uh, at the Mel Tillis Theater, and you know how you know how that happened. Right. And then she later came here and became part of this. Right, and now she's still here. 
Isn't that amazing? I, I looked up on the billboard and then her name and her and Roy still here. They're still doing the worship theater services in Branson, Missouri. Oh man, I so tell you. So it's still that, going on. What a great thing. And of course it spread to all the theaters. People that know about Branson, they know that this town has a strong undercurrent. I was speaking with uh, Randy Plummer of the Plummer family. And he says, this is what Branson is about. Family, the Lord, faith, and good music and uh, and it's still going. It's spread to um, mostly all the theaters right. are doing what God led us to do back mm -hmm. in 1992. Branson Theater Worship, you know, uh, I think there's probably around 50 theaters now that has uh, has a worship service going on. Uh, I heard Leroy New uh, speak about his uh, theater worship last night at the CGMA Awards and uh, you know it's just great to see uh, everyone getting involved and it's you know it's just great to see the work continue and uh you know with maybe another 50 years you know it'll continue to grow that's right so that's you you they gave you a special award they gave rick guy <clears throat> yesterday at the country gospel music association when you mentioned the C cgma uh he received this award for becoming and being a pioneer preacher right here at the theater where we're sitting today it's called the star uh, theater, but back then it was Willie Nelson's Ozark Theater, and he received Pioneer Preacher Award from CGMA. And uh, Rick, man, that's a that's a really wonderful thing that you uh, that they gave you this. And I was blessed at the same time, right. if I may. You know, I was blessed last night. This was on October eighth, two thousand sixteen. Twenty six years or so later, these folks are starting to acknowledge us here. They're local. And they're really worldwide. This is their home base. They're called the uh, CGMA, and I made it into the Hall of Fame. Exactly. With Dolly Parton, Andy Griffith, Gary Paxton. I mean, wow. I'm in there with some uh, some names. Uh, Loretta Lynn is also in the Country Gospel Music Association uh, Hall of Fame. I'm so thankful. I'm in there with those folks, and uh, you know, maybe after all these years, Rick the Lord has a way of sometimes he, he doesn't let you see the end result you know he right. did that to Moses right exactly he came to a certain point and he could not go what into the promised into land the promised land but uh, I tell you what I'm so thankful that at least you know uh, not because we're anything but because the Lord has done something that we're able to see 26 years or more later uh, so. Right, I think we just have to give you know God all the credit because He's the one that you know He give you the vision, He got us together, and uh, you know that, it's funny how things happen. You know, I don't think anything is a coincidence. I think things happen for a reason, and uh, you know, I I first met you out here selling turquoise jewelry. That's right. And I was in there, uh, you know, working uh, uh, managing uh, Willie's Museum. Yes. And yes. Uh, you know, all this came about, and uh, you know, I'm just so thankful that the Lord put a man like you in my life and uh, you know I'm thankful for our friendship over over these years. Well thank you Rick. Hello I'm Terry Bean you're watching the Jane Marvell Branson TV special. See you at the Branson Terry Music Award September 26th at the famous Ball and Roberts Theater. And remember the AOG Gospel Network they'll be there also. Hey I'm Brandon Mabe. And I'm Megan Mabe. I'm Branson's famous Ball and Roberts. And be sure to watch the Branson Terry Music Awards right here on the ALG Gospel Network. Thank you for watching this Branson special. You know, in the business, I was also a jewelry designer. Thousands of fans bought my jewelry. We have a special free jewelry gift for you. But watch this person in the next clip get all excited about my jewelry. Say the things you used to say. What'd you say? You're great. I know it. And make the world go away I'm sorry if I hurt you I'll make it up day by day Just say you love me like It's okay, folks. This is my wife. Make my go away. These girls.
Charles Lovely. Let's hear it for him. Sunshine Express. And get it off my shoulders. Say the things you used to say. And make the world go away. Say some of my jewelry used to say don't get too excited <laughs> and make the world go away James Marvel Well, you could tell that lady was excited about the jewelry. I'm James Marvell, and the ALG Gospel Network will send you a DVD with a lot more footage of my times in Branson, Missouri, and I will include a beautiful jewelry piece free from the same collection sold to thousands of fans at the Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Bill Monroe, and other major stars gift shops, as you can see them holding my jewelry here and these pictures uh, will simply help the ALG Gospel Network, and if you will, with a donation of $20 or more to cover some of the costs for the full show on DVD, the free jewelry item will be specially picked and thrown in as a surprise gift. If you are interested, please email me, Marvell pro at yahoo.com or call the ALG Gospel Network at 662-800-1794. Thank you very much, and please stay safe wherever you go. Now let's end the program with a great trio from Branson, Missouri. Here's Harmony Trio. I'm not gonna be discouraged, and I'm not gonna be depressed. Nothing's too big for God. It's destiny You can't hold back history I made history in a 60s band With these legends made the top 10 Elvis Sinatra, the Beatles, it's true Mercy was there at number two Still, they wouldn't let my message in No mercy! Well, my music made it through Now it can be told Warning kids about drugs too The story can be told Music clicks tried to stop that dream But the Lord, He called on me It's destiny They can't hold back history Now it can be told Story can be told I dig good country gospel songs that set you free I've sung them everywhere And in Branson, Missouri In Branson, Missouri In a dream